Okay, so we now have part D to do, so let's scroll up. Okay, so in part D, we're asked to show that the sum Sn of the first n terms of the series is given by Sn equals 25 times 1 minus r to the power n. Okay, so you might like to try that, just pause the video, come back again when ready and we'll go through it. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Okay, so we're asked to show this result. Let's just put uh, that said show. And uh, what should we know about Sn? The sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression or geometric series. The sum Sn is always given by a times 1 minus the common ratio to the power n all over 1 minus that common ratio. 1 minus r. Okay, so what we can say is when a equals 20, the corresponding value for r, remember, was 1 fifth. So we find that we get Sn equals a, let's put that in there as 20, times 1 minus r to the power n. Now, it would be quite tempting really to put one fifth to the power n, but looking at what we've got to uh, show, it doesn't seem to suggest that we're putting that r in. So let's just leave it as one minus r to the power n. Then it's going to be divided by one minus r. But at this stage, I feel that we should put our r in. So it's one minus one fifth. Okay? So if we do that, we get 1 minus 1 fifth, which is 4 fifths, and 20 divided by 4 fifths is 25. So that is going to give us, let's just scroll up, it is going to give us that therefore Sn equals 25 times 1 minus r to the power n. Okay? This question is only worth one mark, so um, I would imagine that would most probably do, but uh, you might have decided that uh, you want to just check it out in case uh, it didn't work uh, for the other pair. So uh, I'm just going to check it out for when a equals, um, what was it now? When a equals 5 and r equals 4 fifths. So let's just try it for that. So uh, let's come down here. When a equals 5, r equals 4 fifths, we would have Sn equals A, which this time is 5, 1 minus r to the power n, all divided by 1 minus r. 1 minus, and our common ratio here is now 4 fifths. 1 minus 4 fifths then is 1 fifth, and 5 divided by a fifth is 25. So indeed, it does work for both sets of values. So that's Sn equals 25 all times 1 minus the common ratio r to the power n. So hopefully you got that. And uh, as I said earlier, if you did, it's worth one mark. OK, so we're now on the uh, last part of the question. Let's just scroll up and party. E. Here we go. We're told that given that R takes the larger of its two possible values, find the smallest value of N for which Sn exceeds 24. So we've got to find the smallest value of N for which Sn exceeds, let's just write that in, exceeds 24. OK, smallest value of n, which Sn exceeds 24. OK, so you might like to try that one. Again, take a pause, come back when you're ready. OK, welcome back. Let's see uh, how you got on with this last part to the question. 
Okay, SN exceeds 24. This can uh, be written as SN is greater than 24. And so therefore, if SN is 25 times 1 minus R to the N, choosing the largest value of R, which was 4 fifths, we're going to have 25 multiplied by 1 minus 4 fifths to the power n has got to be greater than 24. Okay, so what I'd want to do now is just to rearrange this equation and work my way towards that n. So I'm going to divide both sides next by 25, so that's going to give me 1 minus the 4 fifths to the power n is greater than 24 divided by, whoops, that's not come out that well, 24 divided by 25. There we go. Okay. Then 24 divided by 25, that works out quite nicely on a calculator as 0 0.96, so I'll have 1 minus 4 fifths all to the power n is greater than 0 0.96. OK, so let's scroll up, again giving ourselves a bit of room there, so let's just take that up to the top there. OK, so carrying on, what I'm going to do now is take one from both sides, so that's going to leave me with minus four fifths to the power n is greater than 0 0.96 minus one, which is minus 0 0.04. Next, I'm going to get rid of the minus, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, or I could divide both sides by negative 1. Either way, it's going to leave me with 4 fifths to the power n. Ah, now, we've got to be very careful here, because whether we multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, there's a rule, and that rule is that the inequality must be reversed. So I'm going to highlight this in red, so that hopefully you remember that. It's easy to fall down on that stage. Timesing or dividing this side by negative 1, then is going to give me 0 0.04. So be careful on that. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to try and get to this power n, and the only way I can do that is by using logs. So I'm going to take logs to base e, to both sides, so I'll have ln of 4 fifths to the power n. Now 4 fifths, by the way, is 0 0.8, so it might be a good idea just to write that in as 0 0.8 to the power n. And that's going to be less than ln of 0 0.04. Using the power rule now for logs, we can bring the n out to the front, so that becomes n ln of 0 0.8, and that is less than ln of 0 0.04. Okay. And now we're nearly there. All we've got to do is divide both sides by ln of 0 0.8 to give us uh, the value of n. So we have n on this side, and we divide the other side by ln of 0 0.8. You've got to be careful again here because it's very easy to not realize that ln of 0 0.8 is a negative number. In fact, you should know that ln of any number between 0 and 1 is going to be negative. So ln of 0 0.8, just try it on your calculator, you'll see it's a negative number. But it's very much disguised here. So remember, if you're dividing by a negative number, the inequality turns round. So it's reversed. So I'm going to do it in red again just to illustrate that point. And so we end up with ln of 0 0.04 all divided by ln of 0 0.8. OK, so just get on a calculator now. Let's just scroll up. And if we do that, we find that n turns out to be greater than 14.425 and so on. 
Okay. Now we're asked to find the smallest value of n, and n must be an integer because it represents the nth term of the geometric series, so it must be an integer. So the smallest integer, in other words, that is greater than 14.425 and so on, has to be 15. So just to summarize then, therefore the smallest, okay, smallest value of n, which is what we're being asked for, okay, is equal to 15. So, I hope you got that after all that. Uh, quite a long question. Apparently it only gets two marks, which uh, does seem an awful lot of work just for two marks, but there you go, two marks. So I hope you got it. Well done if you did.